Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this video we are going to start working on our Distant Measurer AR Kit game. Well, it's a, not actually a game, it's an app, but we are going to start working on it. More specifically, we will add UI labels and a one center uh, UI image view. So without further ado, let's get started. Let us just open up our test application and let's see how that works. But before we do that, before I will show you what this app will look like, I will just step a little uh, back to the previous video where I was talking about textures and materials. Go ahead and take a look at it if you haven't already done so. And I want to share with you one comment here and let me just bring this up and one issue and the solution for it. So if you recall or if you go ahead and take a look at it at minute 939 when we added our specular uh, map, we have this reddish glow on the globe well, where the specular is uh, white. Um, on the ocean and not on the ground. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the details uh, in that video. So uh, Richard Lowe told me that hi Alex, love this new project. Thank you. I hope uh, everyone enjoys it as well. Can you advise why the specular light is red? What would you need to change to make it white? So let's build and run and see the project what uh, we are seeing here. So not the testing one. I just select this one and let's select Alex's iPhone and let us just build and run. So let me just pull you out. Okay, hey, have a fantastic day. Okay, and now if I just add this globe here, you will see that reddish uh, glow. And that is what uh, we want to fix uh, in just a minute. So the problem was here and after a little bit of research I have found out that when you download your resources uh, from the web, from the website that I have pointed you to, we are uh, selecting just go to AR Magic resources. Now we have a PNG file for the specular. What you need to do is uh, name it as a JPEG. So let us just rename it as and use JPG and <laughs> JPEG. And now let us just remove the current one and just simply drag and drop it into the earth specular uh, asset, image asset. And now let's build and run again. And now you should see that we have a white glow. Okay. Okay. And now we have this white glow, which is much, much better than the reddish glow. Well, if you want to create it with the surface of Mars, maybe that would be uh, even nicer with the uh, reddish uh, specular glow. Okay, that's it for fixing uh, this little issue. And now let us just move on to this video's, this video episode's uh, topic, and that is starting to create a distance measurer app. And for this video, we are going to set up the UI for this distance measurer app. And let me just show you how that will look like. So I have here a testing AR magic. Uh, app and let's select our iPhone and let's build it now. Okay, and let me just show you in a quick time player. Okay, and as you can see, let me just point this out a little bit. Uh, here we have our distant, distance x, y, and z values. So we will print out the distance uh, there and the x and y z values that we took when we moved the phone around. And of course we have here, if you just uh, take a look at it, 
uh, here we have our origin or well, not the origin because we, uh, the origin is a different thing the center of our screen now that is what we are going to build up today so let's get started and let's dive into the code let's minimize this testing AR magic project and let's jump in into our AR magic pro uh, project and now let us just create a new uh, branch for this okay let's create it as usual and now let us just go into the game view controller and let's talk about what we need well first of all we need four labels and that is the distance label the x y and z labels so let's go ahead and scroll up a little bit uh, and before the uh, view did load let us just add our four labels and just move this a little bit up first of all here we have our and let's create a label inside here pretty basic stuff UI a label and let's return it so we don't get that uh, annoying error at all and now let us just give a font size and a bold system font of size let's say 14 and let's add our text color label text color here we go equals to let's say black ui color and dot black okay now let's add a default text to it so And now that we have all of this initialized, let us just add it to our view. So let's scroll into the setup views and down below, let's add view, add sub views, and we will add our distance label here. And finally, we need to anchor it with our anchor extension. So I will just uh, type in here, let me just scroll this up so you may see even better distance label dot anchor and we will anchor it to the top and of course we are going to anchor it to the safe layout guide so a view uh, if you don't know what the safe layout guide is that is a really good uh, guide to anchor your uh, views or any other uh, views in your uh, view controller because that takes care of the iPhone 10's uh, bottom and top anchor so you don't get all the way up and uh, maybe clip your buttons or any other views from your iPhone 10 uh, device okay so view safe layout guide and top anchor okay uh, left of course we could we should do uh, the same safe layout area layout guide uh, dot left anchor for the bottom anchor we will set nil because we don't want to anchor it to the bottom right also nil top constant well let's use 24 uh, left constant 24 again for uh, bottom constant zero right constant zero and width should be zero again and for the height let's say 12 or maybe let's let's use this 24 again okay good stuff now uh, let's build and run and let's see if we do get a distance label on the top uh, left corner of our screen okay here we go yes we do have that okay now for the X Y and Z labels pretty easy because there is a lot of copying and pasting involved so let's just copy and paste this label and let's create our X label and we should have our text here X uh, not with capital X a small uh, uncapitalized X and for that let me just run on this again so we may get our origins uh, nodes so the basic way that we have uh, our debug options set up so let's just wait for it 
okay? And as you can see, we have our origin here and we have some lines here. So for the X value, we have a red line, for the Z value, a blue line, and for the Y value, a green line. So I will just add these colors to our X, Y, and Z labels. For the X value, we have a red line. Okay, let's stop this. And now, just uh, correct this to a uh, uncapitalized X. So we have here a red. And uh, next up, we have our Y value. And I will just paste in for the Z value as well. So Y and Z label. Y text, Z. And for the Z, we have our blue if I can remember correctly and here we have our green and finally we need to add it to our view as um, where it is yeah here it is as a sub view so and I just simply copy and paste this two more times and I just say here Y label and Z label now we want to uh, anchor all of these labels. The top will be our distance label. The left will be view dot safe area layout guide dot left value. Uh, the same as for the distance label, bottom nil, right nil. And for the top constant, zero, left constant, uh, what was it? Yes, 24, 24, bottom constant, zero, right constant, zero again. And for the width, we should choose again zero. And for the height, let's say 12. Let me just take this again. Well, let's see how that looks, 24. Okay, and now let's just copy all of this anchoring out and do the same for the Y and the Z labels. So Y, Z, and uh, all we need to do is uh, just anchor the top of our labels to the bottom of the top label. Let me just show you, it's a little bit tricky here, but so X label dot bottom anchor, that's it. And here for the Y label, Y label a bottom anchor. Now let's build and run and see how this all looks. And maybe we will just tweak it if we need it to. Here we go. Here we have our origin and our X, Y and Z labels. And of course the distance label. I really like this positioning and the um, height constant. Okay, finally we are going to add our center and that will be a UI image view. But before we do that, let us add a new asset here and that is this center.png file and I will just simply drag and drop it into the assets folder and we will use this as our image. So, let us just scroll back up again and this time we are not going to add a UI label, we are going to add our, um, let's see, we are going to add our center image view. Well, not the most uh, promising uh, naming convention here, but that is what it is. So it will be a UI image view. And uh, let's add here a view. And that will be a UI image view. And let's return it, of course. And what do we want to add? Well, first of all, we want to add our image to it. So image, view dot image equals, and let's just build so we may get this out. And let us just type in here center. And here we go. We have our image here. And now let us just set the content mode view. And that should be it. All we need to do is add it to our view. And let's just scroll back down here. So view dot f sub view 
and that is our center image view and now let us just put it on the center of our screen so we have here a convenience method anchor and anchor center super view but that is not enough because we don't have the uh, anchoring of our width and height so we just need to add another anchor here center image view dot anchor and we will use the uh, what we most probably use in most cases so this time around we are going to set top nil left nil bottom nil and right nil because all of these are taken care of the previous anchor and now for the top constant we will choose 0 0 0 and right constant 0 and now we get to the essential part with constant and I will just use our screen size this width and I will just multiply it by 0 0.05 and let's see how that will work out so I will just copy this and paste it to the width too so let's build and run and finally we should see our plus uh, UI image view inside our screen here we go let's wait for it. there it is okay good stuff we are ready to move on to the next section where we will implement our logic for getting the distance from this AR kit game or let's call it an app now I will see you in the next one finishing off this project until then, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and go ahead and visit rebeloper.com and share this video with your friends. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.